what's up guys everyone's having a wonderful day welcome back to another video in this video i'm going to be showing you guys three midfield specific drills that are going to be really emphasizing on turning it's very important as a midfielder to have a really good turning ability to be very consistent and we're also going to be working on a little bit of dribbling passing and finishing so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's get started in the first drill so for this first drill all you're going to do is set two cones creating a gate and then have another cone about 10 yards away what the player who's turning is going to do is going to check in they're going to turn and perform any turn they like they're going to dribble accelerate around that other cone and then play it back through that gate so working on that passing accuracy as well and then all they're going to do is repeat that what the person in the middle can also do is perform another variation by laying it off opening up and then receiving and turning from there as you're going to see eileen performs some really good turns but one of the biggest emphasis and things that i really wanted her to do is once she turns i wanted to see a quick change in speed which is really important because if you can have that change in speed after turning it's going to be much harder for those players to take that ball away you're going to be much more dangerous you're going to give yourself more time to either pass to shoot or just to make a decision so that is the first drill what we did it was about i want to say five rounds for about 30 to 60 seconds and then in between each round i gave eileen about 30 seconds of rest because i wanted each round to be quality so the moment i saw i started to see her kind of decline in her speed or she was starting to make a little bit more mistakes i kind of stopped it right there let her recover and then we went right back into it so remember in this drill you want to really accelerate and have a change of speed once you turn another thing that's very obvious for a lot of midfielders is check your shoulders i wanted eileen to check her shoulders two to three times before receiving it and this is just something that's going to take practice it's just, sometimes it's just a hard habit to break and it's just going to take time so this is just a great drill especially if you're a midfielder working on those fundamentals there's no shooting it's just turning dribbling and passing so hopefully you got hopefully you guys enjoyed this first drill all right guys so here is the second drill this is going to be working on finishing with both feet and it's going to be working on that first touch as we all know it's one of the most important things in the game of football so the first shot is going to be a back pedal touch across and then a curled shot with the left foot then the second shot we're going to be switching feet so you're going to back pedal take the touchdown line and then strike it with the right across it's a very important that if you are playing the midfield area if you're playing that 10 that you work on both sides because you want to get accustomed to receiving the ball from different angles, taking the ball, you know, different directions, and just getting accustomed to finishing from all angles. It's really important that you get accustomed to that and not just accustomed to finishing from one side because that's not going to be good because it's going to feel awkward, it's going to feel weird. So it's important for these drills that you get accustomed to finishing from all angles and you work on all different types of shots. Finishing with the laces working on the curl technique all that stuff so the first shot like i said touch across finish with the left second one back pedal touch down line and then finish with the right foot so we did this for i think we did about three rounds and then we switched sides did three rounds on the other side and then i'll see you guys in the next drill all right guys so this is a third and final drill and this is very similar to the first one if not the same but now we're adding a quick change of speed and then a shot on goal so one of the things that a lot of midfielders struggle with is that once they turn the first thing they're looking for is a pass and not the shot and i think some of the most dangerous midfielders that i used to play with had this like instinctual thing just to rip a shot after they turned and of course they didn't do that every time but they weren't that type of player that every time they turned, they just passed it. And that was the midfielder I used to be when I was playing younger. And probably the reason why I got moved out wide because I would always pass the ball and not shoot. 
So for this drill, what you're going to be doing is that you're going to do the exact same thing. You're going to turn, but now you're going to add a quick change of speed or a skill move and then finish on goal. It's very simple. Just like in the first drill, you can also bounce it off. So you can lay it off, open up, check your shoulders, receive it from a different angle. And you guys are going to see that later in the clips that they did this vi that other variation as well. So it's not just only turning and then a quick change of speed and shot on goal. Sometimes you could bounce it off. There might be a man on. So you bounce it off. You lay it off to the six or the eight. You open up or just get it back again. And I just want Eileen to develop that instinct to not always pass but to also you know why not rip the shot you have a great shot you never know what could happen it might deflect off someone's leg it might hit off the post keeper might hit it back and then your team might score so it's important that players take that shot what i tell players is that you know play to the striker a couple of times play it out wide a couple of times and then why not pretend that you're about to pass it again quick change of speed and then rip a shot and if it goes over it goes over then just reset play a couple passes against it to your teammates and then hit another shot because it's always going to keep the defenders on their toes because then they're like okay like this this midfielder is not only going to just pass it they have a great shot and they're going to take the shot and eventually you never know one of them might go in so that's going to be the video guys hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please don't forget to leave a like comment down below what else you guys want to see or need help with and i'll be more than happy to make it i have a lot of videos that i need to upload and edit so yeah more than happy to make a video based off what you need help with so hope everyone has a wonderful day it's a great day to get better and i'll see you guys in the next one peace Scott.